Well, this is what I have. I bought this digital inverter um, generator, 5000K, I'm sorry, 5K uh, generator, Chinese online on eBay. And um, I was going to use it to charge my electric truck. But now that it, we're going off grid, I needed to see if I was able to um, make my welder and plasma cutter work. And what I found is this is instead of a twist and lock, this is what they had installed. They had a pair of these. And then one was supposed to use an adapter like this. And um, I knew that wasn't going to work. So I took the whole panel off and I just made one receptacle and put it. A 30 amp twist and lock in there. Um, seems to work very good. I'll just start it up here and I'll show you. And so I tested with a small piece of metal and it it went well. It, it worked very well. And so I I brought it up to this, which I think is about a quarter inch or a heavy quarter inch. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I mean, it penetrated well. I was able to get some decent penetration in there. So, this means that I can weld while being off grid. I'm very pleased. Huh? Uh, I, I hooked up a ground, I shoved a four foot rod in the in the ground so I don't know if I need it but I did it anyway and this is what I am running um, just a cheap Harbor Freight um, Chicago electric plasma cutter it does pretty good I can do about three eighths inch um, at the max, but quarter inch reasonably easy. And this, the Tweco fabricator, is fan friggin tastic. Um, I can weld just about anything that I need with this. And so, these are the two items I tested with the generator, and they worked very well. So, thank you for watching.